the red light district for the whole Central Valley. Owners of rundown motels that police say are hot spots for drugs and prostitution have been put on notice by the city of Fresno. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for tuning us in. I'm Ken Malloy. And I'm Catherine Herr. The Fresno City Council passed an ordinance just yesterday that would require motel owners to meet health and safety codes. If they don't comply, the city will take legal action to seize their property. CBS 47's Pedro Quintana sat down with one city council member who introduced that ordinance. He joins us live now in the control room. Pedro. Well, Ken and Catherine, Miguel Arias represents District 3, and in his district is Motel Drive, an infamous area that attracts drug dealers and prostitution. Now, Miguel Arias hopes this ordinance will clean out the crime and bring in affordable housing to that area. Rundown motels across the city of Fresno that have become havens for drug dealing and prostitution will soon have to be cleaned up or the city will take it over. It's the red light district for the whole Central Valley. Councilman Miguel Arias is focusing on Motel Drive, which is located along Highway 99, an infamous area that attracts crime. These are motels that are 80% vacant. They have no market for people to stay there. They're just simply housing for human trafficking, for drug dealers and pimps, and for the extremely poor in substandard conditions. On Thursday, the Fresno City Council passed a motel inspection program which would require court enforcement to inspect the motels and require the owners to meet health and safety codes. Right now, there's no funding for the program. Mayor Lee Brand says he'll work with the council to find that money. It's going to be at the will of myself and the council to work together to find the uh, resources to tackle the problem because it does no good to have an ordinance if you can't enforce the ordinance. Aria says he hopes this program will encourage the owners to remodel or repurpose these motels into affordable housing. The challenge has been that everybody always tries to try and make improvements around the edges. This is something that you got to roll up your sleeves and, you know, deal with it at its core. And the city will hold public meetings on this ordinance next month during the planning commission meeting. Aria says it will take about six months for this ordinance to take effect. For now, we're live here in the control room. Pedro Quintana, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.